in this bitch. Hey, man, but yeah, tell them about your philosophy. Tell them about your philosophy of short people. Oh, we live longer. Short, short people <laughs> live longer than anybody. Y'all know that, right? Like, he gonna die, he gonna die before us. Tall people don't live long. <laughs> you don't see too many tall niggas, besides Bill Russell, because Bill Russell, he rich, and so he can handle this. Yes, sir. Hey, listen here, man. This is Expeditiously. I'm your host, Tip T.I. Harris. Uh, what we're here to do today is engage in discussions that will push the community, the culture, and the generation forward. And we have these discussions with people that's relevant to the discussion, quite frankly. Um, and, you know, my guest today, it's very difficult for me to introduce people that I have a close personal relationship with. Uh, but then my real friend, like, you know what I'm saying, a real partner of mine, he just also happens to be a triple or maybe even a quadruple octagon of a threat, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker do everything <laughs> but sit down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's a stand-up comedian, a recording artist, an actor. Uh, he was a regular on MTV, MTV2, shows like Guy Code, Hip Hop Squares. Uh, we have a lot of fun on that one. He uh, <laughs> he had a hit song that debuted on the Billboard Hot 100 that became the summer anthem, the song of the year even, some would, some would say. Um, Okay, enough of this shit, man. I always say this, okay? I can't really, like, I just, I have a hard time introducing my friends. I hate doing friend. these shows. Like, I have man. a hard time introducing like, how my friends, how are we going to have a real bro? show, bro? Like, we we can't talk like we really talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I be stupid. That's kind of why I've been pushing it off. It's like, what the fuck we going to talk about that we can't, because I don't want to fuck around get too comfortable and I fuck up. Well, that's why we, you know, we. this is our platform, and we have the power edit, to edit. Edit, and, okay. You know what I mean? Anything we do wrong, say wrong, man. Okay. But sometimes you don't know it's wrong till it's out. You're like, they tripping off of that? That's like, true. Like, you don't be knowing. That's you true. You don't know what piss people off or what hurt people feelings. But, okay. Not that we trying to or no shit. But. If anybody ain't got damn caught on yet, this is Lil Duval, my partner, man, uh, that's yeah. joining us here on Expeditionally. Thank you for coming to the show. Now, thank you for having me, Finally, man. Finally, after all these times. <laughs> All these other comedians that I don't know as well as you have been on here. <laughs> no, nah, man. I knew this one like and like that, plus you my friend. So it's almost like I know I could do it any other time, you know. <laughs> and I don't like to do too many interviews for real. Yeah, I understand, man. I don't like you know, to do them like that unless I have well for you. unless I have something I'm doing. You know, know what I'm saying? I just don't like just hop on some shit because I can. You done fucked a couple of interviews up. Not on purpose. I know. Like, well, that's yeah, it wasn't my fault. Know. But didn't nobody really care who knew you. And that's what the thing, that's another thing that I find. Mm. It never be the motherfuckers who know us that's upset. It's nah. always a bunch of people who. Nah, it be people that know me too. Because nah. they be look. it's how they take me. Like What you mean? They they take it wrong. Like Most of the time they, they get offended by what I say, not what I do. Because uh. if you go by what I do, I'm I'm like the perfect guy. But if you go by my words, <laughs> and you might think I'm an asshole, or it's just they take it the wrong Anybody way. Anybody who refers to themselves as the perfect guy, I say I am. Has a high, co- that's a high chance of them being you an right. asshole. I, 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 have, <laughs> I feel like I can openly show my life, and you ain't gonna find too many flaws in it as far as on some fucked up shit. Like you know, how fifty years from now, be like he did that. You, yeah. I got them. You won't find shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I just feel like I'm that type. I'm that. I'm what you. I'm your a guy's guy. You know what a I'm saying? A guy's guy. Yeah, a guy's guy. Man, I got some yeah. teeth for you, man. Yeah, I'm hoarse too. I've been singing and shit. You know, you forgot to say I'm an R&B sensation. Did I say? Oh, okay. You R- forgot to say R&B, R&B sensation and, and yeah. Instagram philosopher. Yeah, Instagram philosopher. <laughs> Social media philosopher. Yeah, man. Social uh, media philosopher. Uh, uh, uh. uh. A, tra- a international travel started, travel connoisseur. I was doing that social media where y'all was just, I was at the video shoots and shit, and y'all like, what the hell is you doing, man? That sound like goddamn Madea. What's travel this Travel connoisseur. Hey, what's, what's this here? Huh? Some weed? What that is? Let me see something. It might be some CBD tea. Let me see what that is. Let me see something. Nah, that honey, man. That honey, man. Oh. It's a sweetie. I thought this was like the little dab and shit. Nah, man, you gonna man, you gonna get how I go and file up, bro. Man, we look like some old niggas. Like that's not right. real. We don't know how to work, honey. Who the fuck don't know how to work? How this is crazy that Duval and Tip is old. Yeah, well, right? I'm older. We were, the, we were the young niggas. In I there. know, man. But now we're one I'm thing, so used to we'll never be old as this nigga here. Yeah, don't walk we'll out there. Never be yet. old as this nigga don't here. Walk out yet, nigga. <laughs> It's That's so Clay crazy. Evans, everybody. But for real, man, that shit is crazy to me that I'm the old nigga now. 
Cause I'm so I've always grew up around older people. Me too, and I always been the youngest in the crew. Yeah. Right? So now that I'm the goddamn the old, old guy, niggas shit. calling me OG and Unc. It's a weird transition, isn't it? Not real. I'm, I'm, I like it. I ain't gonna front. Cause when you OG and Unc, you ain't in they you ain't in they radar to try to goddamn see as me. But you but you had to grow to that point. As yeah. We all did. Cause at yeah. first it's kind of like, what the fuck you calling Unc, nigga? No, I, I I was cool with it. I been you got I always had a little boy face and always looked at little. So when I started getting gray hair, I was cool with it. So and even see, I when ain't they got no gray hair, I don't. That's the thing. See a lot of my I ain't got no gray hair. I ain't got no gray hair. I don't have no gray hair. I ain't got no gray hair on top. I ain't got no gray hair nowhere. I ain't got no gray on top, but I got it right here. Cause I'm wiser than you, bro. Uh, That's you what also it is. You're also older than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a couple years here and there. We, gotta do. Nah, you're yeah, we, about a chin. No, work wait. With gray hair let, me, older than me. let me tell you why we in the same age bracket. Why? Cause we could have went to the same high school. You could have been in ninth, and I could have been in twelfth. So if we in the same. If we could have went to the high school at the same time, we the same age. That makes absolutely no yes, sense. Yes, it do. That might mean we're in the same generation. No age. Like we hang. We was we went through the same shit. We the same age, bro. We went through the same shit. Yep. There's so many other. What year you graduated factors. from high school? I didn't graduate from high school. What year you were supposed to graduate? Ninety nine. Okay. Oh. Wait. <laughs> shit. <laughs> he was in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that's another thing about me, right? Fuck. I think it's because I've been like around for so long. Mm -hmm. I believe it's because I've been around for What's so that? long, man. And people have kind of, you know, they they go back to thinking, how long have I heard a tip? Mm -hmm. Damn, I was twelve when I first heard a tip. Man, somebody told I'm me I'm thirty two now. This motherfucker got to be fifty years or no, no, nigga, I'm not. Somebody told me they- He the same age as Puffy. No, I ain't. <laughs> yeah, somebody you know told I mean? me that I and was- And then when I had children, like, you know, I got a 23-year-old daughter. I got a 20-year-old son. You know yeah. what I mean? I got kids in college and shit, so. But, oh, hell yeah, man. Tip got to be 40-something. No, nigga, I ain't 40 nothing. You just started young. You started young. And see, so that's why I got to keep reminding motherfuckers, man. Like, I ain't your aunt, brother. You don't want to be aunt? I mean, when it's time. Bro, you unk. Take that hell, you I'm unk. I unk the song, but no, not these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers who damn near look Bruh. older than me calling me unk. Bro, but you unk. Man, please. You raised a lot of motherfuckers, man. But I can dig that, man. You I appreciate of offering information. You, you raised a lot of motherfuckers. And you got to think, we damn near like three, four generations. I'm probably four generations. Like my daughter 12, and that's like hip hop age, pretty much, because that's what uh -huh. we So, nigga. That's about five, six generations of we down. Like, we old in that world, in right. the hip-hop world. Yeah. In hip but we that, young. But see, the good thing true. about it is, well, for me, we young with the old niggas. Like, I'm <laughs> young. I don't give a fuck about that. Them young niggas. That's them. I, the old niggas, like Clay. Yeah. I'm the young nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm see that how I feel when I come around y'all. Like I'm around the old nigga. Nah, no, I'm me young. and you the same. Bro. Me and you. The we same. just tried this. We just mm -mm. went through this experiment. We just went through I, this. I fucked up. I gave you the wrong analogy. That didn't work in my favor. So I'm gonna that think of another. That didn't count because it didn't turn out how I wanted <laughs> yeah, it yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. <laughs> Man, what gave you uh, such a a keen perspective. Um, I honestly think it's just naturally in people. Like even before you understand what you're doing, you just know what to do. Like you, like I, I was thinking about this earlier while I was chilling, and I was like, nobody taught me how to just get out there and do it. Like mm. I remember, I didn't have no money. My mama couldn't give me a Nintendo. But somehow I had a Nintendo in all the games. And I never looked at it like she couldn't get it. It just was natural, like, I'm going to get it myself. How did you get it, though? I, um, I probably stole it or something or did something. <laughs> but I'm saying I got it. I got in a lot of games back in the day you could trade. Yeah. So I and steal. I, yeah, steal too. I was a, I was a, that was my thing. I was a clep, though. I just got over that. Like, then I just, Last year. I just got over being a clep, though, like maybe a year you or two would ago. Steal? Yeah, that was my what? that was my thing. Yeah. Why would you steal? Cause I just could. Like I always knew I, what I can get away with. Well, what was your like? What was the, the your main destination to go steal some shit? <laughs> Nigga, I got caught stealing out of blockbusters. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I tried to steal Rocky Five. Ah! 
<laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> Motherfucker. And let me tell you, this is how old <laughs> Rock and Fire. Hey, what the fuck you want to steal that for, bro? Nigga, that was a good movie. Like, Man, nigga, <laughs> nigga, Rocky Five. <laughs> the fuck? And this is how they fucked me up, though. This Which how, one with Rocky Five? That was the one where he fought his son. Yeah, no, Russian. Shit. That's when he fought That's the best Draco? one. Yeah, I will destroy you. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, but nigga, this is how they fucked me up, though, because I was old back in the day. I mean, this back in the day when, what's them shits? The mom. The, the monitors? Metal detectors. The metal detectors. They was wasn't even out beforehand. They just invented those, so I didn't know no better. Mm. My dumb ass walked through that bitch. And went off. Beep, 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 beep. Rung I off. tried to run. They they called me. You tried to run and yeah. got caught. Yeah, then I got caught. I ain't stuck. never tried to run and got caught. Nah, I got caught twice. I got caught. Every time I tried to run, I got away. Well, you good. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. But see, I'm glad I got caught because <laughs> the niggas that didn't get caught... They locked up and dead now. Uh, they woke. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so, I got I got caught stealing the car. We were stealing cars. We made the news on that one. What? Yeah, nigga. I got I was the only one got caught because we jumped out the car and ran behind Gateway. Is it because your legs so short you don't want to get caught? I don't know, man. I thought I was quick, but the goddamn police officer was quicker. <laughs> like that nigga, that nigga, I had almost like cause down in Jacksonville we got the houses that on stilts and you can like go, go under. under. Yeah. So I was like, I'm finna run under that bitch. And as soon as I went to die, that nigga caught me like this here, <laughs> and just slung me like a little rag dog. But, hey man, man. So stealing cars is something I never got into, man. That was Cap. Cap used to steal a car. Nah, I, I stole didn't. one car in my life. Stole one car in my life. It was a new car. What you stole? I stole a 1997 Mazda Millennium. Mazda Millennium. In 96. Man, man. speaking of Millennium, the, you know that um that car Millennium? You know uh, C-Rod and Mac Boney almost died in my shit. I had one you of had them. You had a mother. Millennium? I think it was a Millennium. 626. Wait. What was the, is the was Mazda? They making them motherfuckers? Yeah, 626. Oh, okay, now. Nah, it yeah. was right after your video shoot for uh 20 Foes. Right after that, we was going down to Daytona. Okay. We all rode down to Daytona. We rode in my shit. Oh, that when they fell asleep? Nigga, yes. And got them down niggas, and fishtail. They was supposed to be dead that, that night. I, I swear to God, that. they were supposed to be dead that night, nigga. They, we stopped in Jacksonville. You was in the car with them? Hell no. <laughs> I told them. To, I, was in, I was in the car with my man, Troy. Uh, and I told him to drive my car. So we riding and shit. And I look over there. I see them niggas sleep, both of them. <laughs> Just both of them like this here. Knock that. Knock the fuck like, out. Like sleep like what? Like head on the window sleep? Nigga. Well, at one time, I'm riding past him. Who was driving? I think it was C-Rod driving. Okay. I think it was C-Rod driving. It was, they just driving. Mac Boney over there sleep. I look over there, both of them sleep. <laughs> and then they just start spinning, 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 spinning. And then at the end, he's talking about, but I held that motherfucker, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, it was dirt all in my car. <laughs> Everything. Like, motherfucker, what fuck did my you shit do up. What would you do with the car? It was total. I think I, it was fucked up after that. Them man. niggas owe me money for my car, man. Man, you had insurance. Quit tripping. I don't think I did. I Back in the day, no. You had insurance, bro. Nigga, you can't drive without insurance. You don't know. You Everybody would have went to jail. Bruh. Bruh. I didn't. I wasn't driving for one, and for two. I'm saying everybody back in the, the day they were driving. Nah, I got. I guarantee you, I didn't have insurance. I didn't have license, good license till I was about thirty. Now I remember you used to drive with no license. Yeah, I had bad license. Like a tag, that shit part of the deal. No, back then it wasn't like that. I don't think so. Was it like that back then? It wasn't like that back then. Fake insurance card. Yeah, you can get insurance card. This shit used to be, used to get away with a lot of shit. You can get away with a lot of shit if you just shut up and don't tell people. Yeah, them internet, that internet internet shit fucked a lot of shit up. Technology fucked a lot of shit up. That's what I'm saying. That's the internet. I feel like technology and the internet, that shit is like. Now, technology been out before the internet. Like, planes use technology. It's synonymous. Yeah. You say what? <laughs> you say planes use technology? Yeah, they was using technology before that. And we was but using that didn't bother us. Yes, it did. That, that, in that technology time. from planes to do that, that didn't bother I mean, this the ain't bothering us. The internet is the technology that bothered us. It don't bother us. It's it, how you use it. Shit. Cut it. Planes you know what? Was, how about this? The internet and camera phones. That like ain't what fuck this. Shit. That's just like guns. It's like it's how you use it. It's, it ain't. It ain't. It's it ain't a gun it. on every corner at a stoplight waiting to shoot somebody if they don't got to, if they jaywalking. Like that's different. 
In a way, yeah. Like, cameras but... are too widely fucking used in too many, like, private areas. But it's used, it's worked a lot of good, too. It's an invasion of privacy. I, I think it's a good of both. It's both. I well, think it's, be no bad with it's, that changed, it's changed the world for the better. And it's made some bullshit too, just like television. Some gotta be up. So listen, there, they said no the same easy. thing about television. Yeah, absolutely. Television fucked. So I mean, it, it is what it is. Is something gonna be after this? We gonna be like, man, but, this shit fucked the game up. But it, it, it can't be completely even. Like, okay, well, it fucked it up a little bit, but it 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 made it better a little bit. One of them got to be more than the other. Which one is it? Did it fuck it up more, or did it make it better more? Thank you. I really don't know what you were just talking about just then. You don't know what I was talking about, bro. I just worked this. I just worked this. I was trying to tease that his ass with this wing for camera. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, we were talking Come back with an ancient perspective. Come on, An artifact of information from the old head in the back. He said we wouldn't have never known Rodney King got his ass whooped had it not been for camera. Mm hmm. So uh, you just that, you just blew my point, motherfucker. Yeah, this, this is true. I mean, this okay. is true. However, however, what motherfucker wouldn't have got? You gotta take your L on that one. Several that, several that one motherfuckers there. wouldn't have got caught selling dope, breaking in shit, and doing shit that they ain't had no business doing if we didn't have, if it weren't for cameras. And so that's a plus. So technology has plus helped us. Plus for who? Not for them. They locked up. They don't think so. Nigga, if that was your house, you'd be happy they locked up. <laughs> hey, you talking about? Hey, I mean, I don't think necessarily. Nobody wants to see nobody go to jail. Bro. Shit. The system. Look at who just walked in. We were just talking about you, Hey, man. See, hey, you see? You see? And I tell you that earlier. Yeah, the universe. I told you that earlier. So what did I tell you, though? You did. You said it's because yeah. we're in tune with, with, with the universe. Okay, so what we was talking about earlier, man, when we were sitting down having having brunch, <laughs> <laughs> me and my rich broke partner went and had brunch together. Yeah. Uh, what uh, do with the lighter? Yeah. So <clears throat> I was telling them, like, in the past, like, six to nine months, I've been experiencing a lot of just when I call people, they would say, man, I was just talking about you. Or when I walk in a room, man, we was just, your song was just playing. And I was telling them, like, that shit happening more often than than usual. And I was saying it's always all happened, I think. You just now pay attention to it. Because the universe always there. You're just more in tune with it. When you get more in tune with it, you can pay more attention man, to it. And, and then, I said, that's the first thing I told him. But I say, now he's paying attention now. Hey man, but look though, but then you see how we were just talking about C Rod, mm -hmm. and that nigga just came through the door like that. Mm -hmm. That shit happened to me all the time now. All the time. What, did you know he was coming? No! <laughs> that man didn't tell me. That man didn't tell me he was coming up here, bro. I was, hey, who was driving that night? <laughs> when you fucked up that car. Yeah. I, I told you it was C Rod. <laughs> I said that nigga was asleep. He told me, man, that nigga was asleep, man. These niggas look I fell asleep. And then I got down like shit. Man. You wanna see what it was like, huh? That that camera shit, that camera shit with Rodney King helped us. You think so? Yeah, man. I think we paid a lot for it. <laughs> yeah. I think we paid a lot for it. <laughs> I mean, for real, we paid a whole lot. The motherfucker, the, the the flip side of that shit, man. The other side of that coin is ugly. What other side? I mean, the other side, the other <laughs> shit that you get. About? The other shit that you get from the invasion of privacy that comes with cameras. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then in a lot of ways, the shit don't, it, and then it's not even a payoff. Because just because we get to see it, <laughs> nothing even happens. It doesn't matter. If we have never saw it, that shit would have played out exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, but boy, it's, it's different. <laughs> We're here by nigga got his head stumped in and actually seeing it. That mean that we that, that mean that our lives would have been more enriched. Yeah. You know, we'd have been living. Because if you see it, you like, they broke our damn. bliss. Say, if you see a nigga get stung, you like, All right, I'm not gonna be trying niggas that much no more. <laughs> so it works in both favors. Like, like no, nah, you know what? I'ma just walk away. You yeah, know? Hey, hey, now walk that walk that walk away is a motherfucking that's it's power. A tool. It is power. You don't that's realize that because we was taught younger that you that fight and stand You fight and stand young, but that is a powerful thing that'll be able to turn the other cheek and and just say, I'm going to let the universe handle it. I'm talking about walking away before some shit happened. I ain't talking about yeah. getting hit and walking away. No, I ain't talking about that thing. I'm just using it as a <laughs> metaphor. But I mean, like, 
the fact that like you know it does take a lot more strength to get them get hit and not do nothing yeah. for me. You know what I'm saying? I got to try something. No, I ain't talking about after the hit is is all. No, no. Dr. King said you get hit and you turn the other motherfucking cheek. Have you seen that uh, Who Killed Malcolm X? Yeah. Man, that motherfucker was deep, wasn't it? Not really. <laughs> what you Because mean? I was like, why did he put so much emphasis in finding out? Because we knew that they did it, but why did it matter that he did it? Why did it care? Why did we go through all that? Why did you put all that in there? And how does that change anything now that we know that? He got away. Okay. But what does that change anything now? I don't get, I don't I mean, care about, that's like that show about. I think about, it's because of who, who Malcolm was and what he meant to call, like I think he's kind of on some, we need to do this for Malcolm kind of shit. Nigga, Malcolm ain't here. <laughs> Everybody's, I mean, Excellent not, point. But, it, I, but you ask him what was his, like what was the point of that? Yeah, I just didn't get the point of it. I see if you ain't gonna do nothing about it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not gonna change none of the ecosystem, it's not. Beneficial, like we already knew it was three people that did it. Right. The fact that we say he was the gunman and not this man the gunman. Right. It's like you got three men going to kill, he the one shot him. So let Who me gives a you. fuck? Okay, then they then all me. was ready to kill him. Okay. And that's and like <laughs> what they said on the show, everybody was ready to kill him. Now it's two people that got locked up that wasn't even supposed to be locked up though. Yeah. Two, two people got locked up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I'm saying that So what about to clear their name? But they already knew in the circle of the the Islam, they knew what it was. Yeah. They knew who it was. They knew what it was. Yeah. So it's like, all right, now that, now that you told the world that don't really give a fuck 50, 60 years later, what's the point of It's funny you, we was talking about this now because I just watched T.D. Jake's sermon and he was talking about the Noah's Ark and the the cocoon and all that. Man, you believe that shit? That shit kept. What? All that shit kept. What? All that Noah's Ark and red sea It's a story. It's, it's not that, about, that listen, kept, listen, man. listen. It's not so much about the story, it's about the, no. it's about the, the story, it's the message in the story. But then what I'm saying, it's just I like, that. Hold up, listen, it's just like a cocoon. The cocoon is the same correlation as a Noah's Ark. It's doing the same thing. It's bubbling you up to get you prepared for something that's greater. And that's the only thing the story of Noah's Ark is. The story of, so it's telling you a story to make you better for yourself so it ain't wrong and it ain't kept. As I see, that's I'm all not, story. I'm not saying that the message is not, is not necessary. I'm saying that shit did not happen in real life in here. A lot of stuff ain't happened, but when you're talking to but your it's in the Bible. it's like but it's like your story telling your kids. You want to tell them in a way to to make them understand something, right? So so it's the same. You going you ain't gonna you gonna try to put it in a way that makes sense for her at that age, and that's the same thing any type of religion do. They put it in a way to make you understand it. It's called but, control, nigga. We all control everything you ate. We do. We control everything. I mean, I'm just saying, like for instance, so it, it, it the Bible, they say it's it's been said, it, yeah. it it will always be said that Bible is the word of God, mm -hmm. and it also is said that the word of God is everlasting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, this shit supposed to be the absolute truth. It's the truth and how they want to tell it. It's like a story. It's like how you tell your stories in your music. It's, it's like you tell your stories in your music. That shit is either true or it's not. It's it's true, but at the same time, it's the way you tell the story. Like I said earlier, it's like I mean, like I said a second ago, when you're talking to kids, you ain't gonna tell them a give them a real life rap. You're gonna give them kindergarten rap, a right. Dr. Seuss rap. Okay, but if okay, but. That don't make it like it's it's not real. It's like green eggs and ham. Is there really any green eggs and ham around this green eggs around this bitch? Okay, check this out, man. You see what I'm saying? But if you put if you if you put that story that has been adjusted. That story been in all types of story, like the story of the of, of Christmas of Christ, the rising of the sun and up and down, it's the same thing. It's just told in a different way. It's the same thing. It's telling you that it's not no bad thing. Even if you find out whatever the message in, it's mm -hmm. the message in it. That's what you're supposed to get out of all this shit. The message, not the. That's why they get mad at preachers because you looking at this man. He's giving the message. It's not so much him. I'm not really mad at. I ain't talking about you, but I'm just saying in general. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like, like when people shine down religion because religion we need. Cause like a lot of people need because to people, be. They need to be controlled. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, because everybody can. Everybody. That's why they made religion. Cause if you stick to what you're supposed to do, a lot of the other stuff won't even come. If you stick to what it is, cause all most religions just getting you to the to a piece of good God or love. So if you stick to that, 
Mm-hmm. You won't fall into a lot of the temptations of life of, of the worldly shit or crazy shit. All right, see, so this is the thing. So religion is about extreme discipline and sacrifice, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing is most people, human beings, mm-hmm. are not strong enough for extreme sacrifice. And, and they're not extremely disciplined. But they want to fit into this group of people that seem to be, they're supposed to be like this. Mm-hmm. But you don't want to come to all of the people who are around you in your community and say, nah, man, I ain't really like that, man. So I'm going to be the only one that ain't one of whatever you guys are. So they try to force and they fake it. And then finally, pressure bust pipes, they blow a gasket. But that all comes with, it's just like everything. It's all... There's no plus without a minus. There's no good without bad. Yeah, this is true. <clears throat> all this come from, this is just the bullshit that you deal from all that shit. Yeah, man. But the, you know? but, but but from all that shit, what the fuck made you want to be a motherfucking R&B singer? You're a very good comedian. I just like entertaining, bro. Honestly, in whichever way I do it, I just do it. And that's just another way to facilitate it. That was one, one way of doing it. I used that. I use comedy, I use rap sometimes, I use social media, uh-huh. I use whatever I do right. to get whatever I want to get out. That's what entertainment always was before. You just didn't do one thing, uh-huh. you did everything. Yeah. And if you, you know these new young niggas, if all these new social media, they don't just do one thing. They do everything, that's what everybody's doing now. I ain't got a problem with doing everything, I'm just saying like, but as a great comedian, like when, you, what, what was the first time that you could recall you was like, shit, I just thought of a song? The first song, the first joke I did was a song that blew me up. Which one? The Buy a Girl a Drink in the Club, Bitch You Is My Girlfriend. Oh. Like, it's been doing it. Yeah, so you had, so you was making songs in your comedy. Yeah. Already, so I, I get it. So it's just a natural transition. It's just been going on, just people paying attention now. Right. People paying attention now. So how the fuck did it feel to have a number one record? Uh, I, it was dope. Shit, it was dope. It was that 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 didn't hit me like that because I didn't do it like for that. What hit me more so the how it affected people. You know, what man, I'm smile, bitch was a fucking that shit was. Shit, it still is. It's like a Negro it spiritual. A big, like yeah. it's like I could sing it and they sing it by itself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's what I was more impressed with. And and have you ever had a joke that hit that big? That bitch you is my girlfriend, so. But not as big as this. No, hell no. Nah. This, this, is, <laughs> this is some shit that I have that's bigger than me. Like, right. this is some shit, like, when I die, hundreds yeah. from years from now, they're going to be. You're going to have a smile bitch on your head, boy. Yeah, head, so. so I, like, this was, like, something for bigger than me. This was something for the for for the earth, for God. This was something for God, for me. What? You know, this wasn't me. So you say God, so he, he so loved the world. He put. He used me he, as a vessel. He blessed little Duval. He used me as a vessel to use to everybody with else. With the concept of smile, bitch, for the people. Yeah, just like he used you. You might don't know it, but he used you to go to other people. Now, whether you get credit for it, that's on you. Yeah, man. You know? I, don't, I mean, I think as long as he using us, that's 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 all the credit I need, bro. Shit. You know until it's time to go next, it gotta be something after this shit. What I you hope mean? so. I mean, but, but but think about it. If it is somewhere else to go after this, if he was already using us and he got his eyes on us, he, he, you know what I'm saying? It's just like if you out there, man, you got them. Yeah, you got, you can fuck up the, the scout got his eyes on me. You can, yeah, <laughs> you know they do. Saying? It's just like a, I'm going to get drafted. I'm going to get out here and perform. Example. It's just like if you see an artist and you see this nigga hot, yeah. And you like, I got to watch him first. Right. And you watch him, then, then that nigga say, fuck Tip. You're like, God damn it. <laughs> I was gonna help this nigga. That's how God is. He's like, Damn. Oh, you know what? You know, this nigga just said, "Fuck me." All right, I'm gonna show him. <laughs> the same thing, you know. But now, 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 that's you, a good. And now I'm gonna take that and post that on my Instagram. Yeah, you do that. See, that's see, a good see he's clip thinking bit. like a philosopher. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good clip bit. What's it called? Tidbit? Yeah, a tidbit. Clip, clip, a bit. clip bit. Clip, I don't th- clip. <laughs> a good clip. <laughs> a clip bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good clip bit. Yeah. <laughs> Words from Lil Duval. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, I think that, I mean, like. Man, you have, this nigga, 
Don't ever hang with Tip, because he kidnapped you, man. I've been with this nigga. It's called Tip now. Huh? It's called Tip now. That's what I said, Tip. Now nah, I'm saying, but that's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a phrase that has been coined. It's called tip nap. Oh, oh, that's what old people do this. You do this to everybody. <laughs> well, I mean, well, you've been doing it to me so long. I think now I'm older because I, I'm, I'm, I don't really be want to do it no more. <laughs> hey, like, bro, this, huh, it's seven thirty now. You just two, you just two people, bro. You like huh. you just flipped the whole switch and got. I'm a Gemini, some other shit. like. That's all right, man. But It'll that, flip back. Let's work through it. All right, come on. Let's work, <laughs> let work through the shit, bro. Come on. What who, what, what comedians did, did you grow up thinking, like, God damn, these motherfuckers funny. This is what I want to be like. Um, Martin, Chris Tucker. Mm. Those two. That was my generation. I mean, I always knew about Eddie Murphy and all them, but I came up in the Def Jam era. Mm. So Martin, and but Chris Tucker was the one that made me say I could do it. Because mm. he was like, all the rest of them did comedy, but he was the only one that was like a, like a nigga, like, like somebody from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like he was saying something about, uh, I went in to steal a TV, some, I came out, somebody stole my car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh shit, then when I saw him got in the movie. He's like, shit, I be stealing? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it was something that, like, oh shit. Because the rest of them was just telling there. like jokes and stuff, but it was something that, oh. I got a bunch of that type of jokes, you know. Yeah. I, even though I didn't know it was jokes, but because I didn't know what stand up was until I got in a stand up comedy club. I didn't mm. understand what it was. You know, I just, I watched. You hadn't seen Raw? Yeah, I saw it, but I didn't understand that that was an art. I mm. just saw it as, I like, when I saw Chris Tucker go from that to Friday, I was like, oh, so that's how you do it. Right. You go do that, and that'll get you in the movies. So I really was using. So you just trying to go to, you just trying to get to the movies? Yeah, I was trying to get get any way to entertain because that's always always I, that's what i always did was entertain so i like to doing music comedy and anything dance whatever you right. know so well, from there shit. snowball to, to this nigga here i mean shit, man i think that another thing you do man you got to you 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 smell the roses like no motherfucking body i've ever seen in my life man what you mean like you know how motherfuckers say you got to stop and smell the roses yeah, you know live in the you moment. Appreciate, yeah, you do that shit better than anybody I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. Don't you nothing to. bother you, bro. Because you got to be like that. When you see somebody, watch somebody die, yeah, and see them die, like watch them and know they can die, and they still have, that's what. That's one of the things that inspired me too was watch my man Kool-Aid die. Because watching him, not, I've never seen him complain about nothing. Mm. And he knew he was going to die. So, like when you see that, it makes you, and I think that's what I miss about him too, because he was somebody I could talk to. Right. Because he didn't have no bias on nothing, because he didn't care. Right. It's like you, you know, you finna die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I live my life. It's like, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna die right now, because well, I probably live longer with than everybody in this bitch. Hey, but man, yeah, tell them about your philosophy. Tell them about your philosophy of short people. Oh, we live longer. Short, short people, people live longer than anybody. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> like he gonna die. He gonna die before us. Tall people don't live long. <laughs> You don't see too many tall niggas besides Bill Russell, cause Bill Russell he rich and so he can handle this. But regular <laughs> tall niggas and fat niggas they don't live past sixty, seventy, ifish. You know. <laughs> you say short people they do. short people. Think about all the old people. Uh -huh. They might. They're shorter. <laughs> think about all the Asians. They live to one hundred and sixty. <laughs> they short. You ain't supposed to be long and shit. That's too much. Like, we don't get sick neither. I don't get sick like that. The only thing I get is cold. I ain't been to the hospital unless I, only time I go to the hospital when I do nigga shit, like white boy shit, like when I hurt myself. But oh. but I don't go to the hospital just for like, I ain't been to the hospital for shit. Mm. But, 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 but you, how, how long have you had this philosophy of short people living long? Nigga, you pay attention, look. All the short, all the old people short. I say the limit is like five six. <laughs> five six. If you want to live to eighty, you gotta be five six and under, straight up. <laughs> eighty five. Yeah, eighty five. So you can make it to eighty four if you five six. I don't know, bro. It's gonna be tough. And another thing, the crack eighty above five six. Is I a think tough short thing. people and happy people live the longest. Short people and happy people are, are short people happier. And I'm both. 
Come on. But I should. But does being short contribute to your being happy? Is mm. it the is it the is it the the oxygen at this center of gravity? I never thought about that. Hold on, let me think. Um, <laughs> Cause I always been happy, and I never, I was never one of them niggas. Like they always say, Napoleon complex. Yeah. I never had that. Right. Like I've always thought I was the shit. Like it's never, so I've never had to feel like I've always, I've always been the cool nigga in the crew, like the young nigga with the old nigga. So I never felt that type of way. So the short shit never bothered me like that. Right. Cause so it worked in my favor. To, so you ain't never had to reach for something and was like, damn. No, <laughs> no, I ain't never had to reach. I climb up the goddamn on the on the thing. Okay, <laughs> on the, what's this shit called here? This is actually called the Cardozo. Yeah, the counter. I, I, I climb up on the counter. On the counter and get what you want. Yeah, I ain't no thing. Shit. <laughs> you don't know, you know. You just go climb up there. Um, I tell somebody to get it for me. And then you like you you you've done so much traveling and you you stress the importance of getting out there and seeing the world and having experience and creating memory excuse me having experiences and create memories right you That's, said traveling ain't enough if you just stay in the hotel room i mean it's just understanding it's not so much traveling just getting outside of your world mm. whatever your world is because sometimes you could be right here in your city in the same city and don't even see the other side you yeah. know what i'm saying so it's just getting outside your element i think i was the first person to take uh zero at the lenny's mall for real yeah, man. So just imagine we do more of that in a bigger scheme of things. That's you know what I'm saying? That's shit. what I try to do. I've been That's waiting on you to take me to your house in Bahamas. You, you be bullshit, man. Nah, you can't sit. You can't sit still. I don't want to sit still. But then I you don't want to come to my while. shit. I want to come for a little while. You can come for a little while, but I mean it's chill. It's like yeah, it's just chill. chill. You got to be at a. You got to be a certain mindset man. to to be able to chill. How I chill. But listen, now I was see that this is the thing. If we are what? together, we, we we like we partners, right? And so we gonna merge our methods of chilling together. Not just me chilling all the way like how you chill. Not just you chilling all the way like how I chill. I mean, I chill, we have but to I chill have fun together. I have fun, like, like you know, like my fun is like I can go hiking somewhere, or I could goddamn that's right. Just go go hop off a cliff and jump jump in a in a blue hole or something. Not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> a scuba dive like I can do shit like that so okay. that's my fun but I don't have to do that all like you that's know fine. when you fucking with young bitches like, where we going next where we going next I don't want to do all that shit like <laughs> like I just want to chill you know we fuck or something but I don't want to do like but you say we fuck or something like you like you know what I'm saying you say that shit like no I'm not saying like that I'm talking about like with my old lady you know <laughs> nah I'm just saying but you say it like that shit there, man. Fuck that shit, man. Let's let's go scuba diving. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I, you gonna you go what? You should go scuba diving with me. I but I gotta get certifications. No, you don't. Shit. We'll take you in the class. You can do the the uh, what's this course called? Yeah, whatever that shit called. We mm. can, we can take you to do that and you can just go dive like thirty feet. I try. Hey, we gotta take them we gotta take them on my um, show. You know I got a show. What's your show? Um, called um Black Cousteau. Black Cousteau. Yeah, like Jacques Cousteau, you know. But you swim with sharks and shit. I'm not swimming no motherfucking shark. You ain't got to swim with sharks. What we gonna swim with? We just... <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Who gonna be there? <laughs> sharks and them. <laughs> sharks and them boys. Hey, man. Now, we can go somewhere simple. It ain't got to be I like... I swim with, like, some Nemo's and shit. Ain't no Nemo's over here. We got to go far to get to the Nemo's. But I'm saying we going to be in the Bahamas at your house, ain't we? Ain't no Nemo's at my house. What they, well, what you got at your house then? What catfish? type of fish? <laughs> nah, ain't no catfish over there. This <laughs> nigga got some catfish, man. Nah, we got like barracudas <laughs> and shit like that. Okay, but they bite. They got teeth. They say don't wear jewelry, but I, I swim with one with jewelry on. I ain't but. swimming with no fucking jewelry anyway. What kind of, what are you doing? I'm living, baby. Man, I just stay <laughs> <on>, man. <laughs> I'm living my best life. <laughs> yeah, right here, see? What's the wildest place you been, like, that, that you was... Because you don't be tripping off of, like... Because, you know, you go certain places and their accommodations ain't the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some motherfuckers don't have no air conditioning. Some motherfuckers' refrigerators don't get cold. Now, don't get it twisted. So, you know I know do I mean? like my... Like, I used... I done done all the... Try to do all the hostels and bullshit just to say, all right, I did it, but... Yeah. At the end of the day, I do like my hotel nice or my resort nice. Right. You know what I'm saying? But most places, some places don't have nice yeah, resorts. they ain't got no nice You know shit. what I'm saying? So you work with what they got. What was the place that you went that you had to like, you know what I'm saying? In, um, in Zanzibar. Zanzibar? Where the fuck is that, bro? 
right outside of Tanzania. Uh. You had you couldn't drink their water. You couldn't brush your teeth with their water because some had they, all their motherfuckers' teeth over there was fucked up. Like, damn. So you couldn't drink their shit. You had to use bottled water. Bottled water, water yeah. So little shit. I'm so used to it. It's kind of hard for me to pinpoint out shit because I'm I can adapt easy. Okay. So in my mind, what ain't? What about Wi-Fi? If shit, I got a Wi-Fi. Oh no, I need Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, I need Wi-Fi. Yeah, I need Wi-Fi. And food. Wi-Fi, women, and weed. I need those. Things. <laughs> but like, but, what about if they got like you know? what I'm saying? But like in Asia, I don't smoke. I do shit like because I'm scared. Certain places over there. Like in Indonesia, yeah, they want the penalty, and shit. Now nah, the penalty is death. Get, I think whoa, it was Indonesia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You go, they trying to kill a nigga for a joint. If they find you, nigga, Philippines don't play. Huh? That the president over there, y'all think Trump bad over here? The president over there make Trump look like Obama, for yeah. real, nigga. Like Trump will never look like Obama, nigga. Go see, go in no way, shape, Google Obama fashion. Whoever watches this, Google the Google the Philippines president. This motherfucker here, he. To, to one of his promotions to be president, he pushed the nigga out the helicopter. You what, huh? He pushed the nigga out the helicopter. Another thing he do, he put martial law. Anybody you see selling drugs, you can kill him. What? His, his son was selling drugs. His, they said his son said if it come out he guilty, he gonna kill him himself. Did it come out he was guilty? I don't even know yet. I ain't oh, it's go still that far. Going. This is happening on this underway right now, real time. No, nah, not in real time. It was a couple years ago. I just didn't follow up on seeing if it's it happened. It's a man's life at stake. You don't care. It ain't my man's life. <laughs> what the fuck? You care about something else. You care too much about. You care too much about the wrong thing. And, that, and that's another thing you say. You say that uh, you think that uh, what? motherfuckers live longer not caring. And I say live longer being happy, like not stressing, like. Not stressing over nothing you can't control. I'm not stressing over nothing. And if it's and I'm I don't look for immediate that's gratification. I look for if I'm gonna change something, I'm gonna change it for the long haul. I'm looking at the bigger picture. You know mm. what I'm saying? So and I think the best thing to do is just change you how you if you want to change, change who you are. That's real. And everything else everything will go in the change around you. Yeah. yeah. Now, Be the change you want to see. Now as a fan. Now, I'm a fan. I feel like I'm a fan of Lil Duval, even when, you, even before the dread when you had Braid. Mm -hmm. And we want to know when you gonna do your special, bro. Clay, when my special drop? I already did the special. Clay walking out. You was supposed Clay to be at it, out. nigga. Clay, huh? You was supposed to be at it. Nigga, you said we was gonna do a commercial. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? We are gonna do that. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about right now, present day? Who you think the funniest motherfucker right now? Funny is subjective. I don't like to put people out there like that. I don't, I don't never give my opinion on other comedians because that's for the audience. Mm. I don't feel like it's, I don't feel comedians should you give. You don't have a top five? I mean, I have people I like, you know what I'm but saying? You know what I'm saying? Who, yo, for your particular brand of humor. Um, Who out there? You, I forgot, who out there? You don't know who out there? I, I mean, <laughs> of the New Jacks or just in general? I mean, just like right now, present day, motherfucker, who you feel like. That's funny. If you had to do a Kings of Comedy. I can't do that. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not finna do that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. uh, I like a lot of niggas, man, but I like them for individual. It's like asking rappers. Like, it's a lot of rappers that I like. Tupac gonna be my favorite all the time, though. Yeah. But I got, but and then I, I got grew a favorite up. I, rapper alive. But you gotta you know think, I mean? too, I love comedy, but I love entertaining more than comedy. I just, comedy is just, I'm good at it. Uh, it's just a natural thing I can do. You know what I'm saying? It's, that shit is just natural in me. Like, it's not hard for me to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like you rapping. Like, it's it's nothing that's hard for you to Actually, do. Actually, it's pretty complex, bro. Nigga, it's, it's stand up <laughs> is complex. Stand up is the hardest stand up entertainment you ever. That, brother. But I'm saying too, but I'm good at it. So it's like, I kind of take it for granted. I could probably be 10 times better if I worked, really worked hard at it. It's just, I just love entertaining and changing people and helping our people yeah. more than everything. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we need more of that than we need that part of it. And there's other people that's that's doing that part of it. So while they doing that, we need to put a little bit of Duval in everybody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what was it that told you to start traveling? When was that? When did you? It was always in me, I think, because I always traveled like to the Bahamas and stuff when I was a jet, you know, because my family from the Bahamas. Yeah. So I always used to go back and forth, and my my granddaddy used to always take me places when he came to the states. My grandpa, he'd take me wherever he went. So that 
it was a natural thing for me just even if we went to Orlando or something that's natural for a nigga out the hood to go out of there so I've always was used to traveling and then when I got older and, and you get money you can travel yourself you just do it what get on your nerve with the new with this new shit like you know what I mean nothing cuz shit I'm nothing <laughs> cuz I mean you gotta think it is what it is it's like the same shit how, how old niggas complain that they was complaining about us that motherfucker too. What the jet? Oh, I've been cuffing. Yeah, just a little bit. So I mean, so you, so you don't have no. I mean, it, there's nothing that 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 rubs you the wrong way about shit. If I'm mad at them, I kind of gotta be mad at myself because I kind of molded them to be kind of this shit, just like you. You know what I'm saying? We well, we kind of molded some of these motherfuckers. Like I mean, now they we, they read, some of them read it wrong. You know, that's, a that's lot of them read saying. it wrong. That's what I was gonna say. You know, but that comes from us. Not by the time we want to mentor, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, what I'm saying. Like, for a certain, too late. I'm it's talking about for a certain generation. Late. Now the next generation, like the young niggas, they get it. It was just that gap, that that gap we fucked up. But the, like the 18 and under, I think they get it. Like yeah. it's kind of like the 80s when the when the crack epidemic fucked up. Mm-hmm. We going through that now. From so you think we, social media is equivalent to the crack epidemic? No, I think life is. I think life is it's worse than crack. No. C Rod said no, I, and Big D said No, I think attention is social worse. Social media is worse. Social media. I think attention is worse. Social then. media is it's just social media is just a, a a tool to use it. Nah, what I'm saying is, but that's the that's the home of attention. That's the whole yeah, concept. Yeah, it's, it's a place where you can do it. But that was going it was happening in the in every hood or every community before that. It just was in there. Social media and stuff just made us all one. Like we all had a had a retarded, funny. I mean, you can't say that word. We all <laughs> had a goddamn slow person, special needs, a special needs person in every hood that we laughed about. But now that motherfucker can get on social media and get rich. So it just it's always been there, you know. So I mean, the man. only difference now than then is you. Back then, you really had to know, had to be smart this to make thing. it. This you ain't got to be smart to make it. Now. Yeah, but this the thing, though. Even if you laughed at that person, you had to laugh at that person in their face. You had to physically be there. You didn't get to hide behind. You didn't get to laugh and hide. Either way it go, like that shit made them still like it. Either Ooh. way, I mean, like, either way it go. With, I'm just saying you the, ain't got to be yourself. You ain't got to live by. I'm saying the slow person was the man in the hood, too, though. Just like he the man on social media now. It's just magnified. That's it. It's the same shit. Everything the same is just it's just magnified. Just like when music came, when hip hop came, it magnified it because we didn't have it before. Nigga, what they were doing drive bys to before rap? What was they what? What were they doing drive bys to before rap? Al Green? Yes. That's what I'm saying. So we just put music behind Anything, and it evolved. Brother. Things evolve. I think the point is to accomplish the purpose of the drive by, not the soundtrack. No, the soundtrack made it deeper though. <laughs> You niggas. think in movies, brother. Nigga, 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 I, nigga you I vibe bet. different when the music got you right. I you bet. end up doing shit. We want to, we I be talking shit, the music but. Off so I can think. Nigga, most niggas ain't thinking. See, Ooh, that's you the know, fucking problem right there. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> you acting like niggas out here thinking now. Come on, <laughs> ain't that much thinking going on. Now. So if a motherfucker want to kind of like. But it, this bingo, it's, it's just happening in our culture. Yeah. In, in our world, we just going through that stage of it. Because you got to think before in the 80s and 90s, the white people was like the white, I remember white people was acting how we acting now. This is true. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like we just at that stage now. the white people acting now how we was acting then. It's back, no. White we, people shit Nigga, we, hip hop like is no punk brother, rock now. Hip hop is punk rock. That was what, the 80s. Man, listen, man. That was the 80s, wasn't hey, it? Hey, guess what? Who, who my age in the Hey, guess what? Who my, <laughs> that nigga say. <laughs> I'm 40, I'll be 43 this year. Ain't nobody your age in here. Well, oh, that's what I'm saying. Right my man right here. He so, you know, in the 80s, like, say things like in the 80s, we used to laugh at white you women. Definitely that, the oldest we had, we used to laugh at white women that had the goddamn, the, the injections in their cheeks and all that, and doing all the Botox. Now, that's just regular in the hood. It's common. It ain't common to fuck with your face. Shit. These girls are fucking with their face. Getting titty, even with getting titty jobs, getting teeth, ass getting all this shit. All this shit. They do, they doing it all. They doing it all. Ain't it, ain't it, see, Rock? Yeah, it's bad. Nah, it's out here. Like this they shit. They fucking is, with their face. They doing it all. Nigga, we wasn't doing acid in the eighties. There wasn't no nigga drug. 
I mean, I take no, no, not in the it's not a in college. The, it's a college drug. Yeah, I'm talking about in the so hood. So niggas now. that went to college in the hood. Now you could get well, niggas just, get kicked out of college and go back to the yeah, hood. Yeah, prescription bro. drugs wasn't in the hood. Yeah, well, we in school, like, only just, like, Nigga, I only knew about yeah. crack, heroin. Hold up, when I grew up, I knew about crack, heroin, marijuana, co- uh, cocaine, and marijuana. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, nigga. It's a plethora That's of shit. some mushrooms if you really like deep. Nah, we didn't never. Nah, that wasn't. I didn't know about psychedelic. Psychedelic was motherfucker that did all the the rage. Shit. <laughs> now it's like. Just right in the hood doing that shit now. Yeah, now I do shrooms now, so it's like I I be this. So I, what you get out of the shrooms? What the, amazing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's true love. If you see it, this is something put a smile on a nigga face like that. <laughs> Nigga, that's true love. Everybody, when we say shrooms, I bet you everybody's face like lit up that watched it. <laughs> like, yeah, like it's just amazing. But I wouldn't recommend everybody do it, cause it ain't. You got to be at peace. You got to be yeah. at peace, like what? Like what? Do you in mean? life, mentally, like you, just you don't laughing want, yourself. Yeah, cause cause that shit gonna bring up some demons if you got them. That's <laughs> <laughs> mm. <Dead> serious. <laughs> so you better be really ready. Damn. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the Expeditiously Podcast right now on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.